So Sony Ericsson's there with the C905, Samsung's already there with the Innovate. Next on the 8 megapixel camera phone party guest list is the LG K901, also known in my best French accent as Renoir. I know, you actually thought I was Parisian then. Anyway, so here is the 8 megapixel camera and this is actually the first to have a full touchscreen on it. First looks at the design. Um, it is actually the slimmest 8 megapixel camera phone on the market, shaving 3 millimeters off the Samsung Innovate. Um, it does look still look a bit chunky, so it's not going to be up there with your candy bars, the other ones that are not touchscreen out there. It's pretty light though, um, does feel a bit plasticky. Down here, these buttons look like they were designed by Agnes age, Angus age 5, but still, they do the job. Um, so, the screen, which is what LG's harping on about. It's 3 inches in size. And for touchscreen, it's not actually multi-touch, so with the iPhone, you're not actually going to be able to zoom in or zoom out, so it's just single touch. Also with the widgets, they are customizable. so here we've got your home screen here, which is the first screen you go into, so you've got all your things like your contact book, and your messages, and everything else. And then your next screen, which would be your widget screen, you've got these customizable widgets along here at the bottom, which you can scroll through. So you've got things like your calendar in there, you've got things like your browser, also your gallery for your photos. And what you do, you can drag and drop these onto the screen here, and then when you go back into your home screen, the widgets you've selected there. So it's perfect, like FM radio is one of those things. So if you listen to your radio a lot, you can move that widget, and then you're straight on there with your home screen. So LG have been harping on that this is the first 8 megapixel camera phone with full touchscreen. So we've had a look at the camera and it is, as I said, 8 megapixels. It's got a Xenon flash on there. It's a Schneider lens, which is not, it's like um, LG decided to go with them instead of Carl Zeiss, which Nokia have gone with. You can either take pictures with the menu button here on the top or also they've got what they're calling as the touch shoot. So when you're taking a picture, if you just put your finger on what you want to take a picture of on the screen and then touch it there and then if you let it go it'll take a shot of what you've put your picture on. So you can have a normal shot, a smile shot which has got smile detection on there. You can have a beauty shot which I think at the press conference the guy at LG said if someone's ugly you can make them look pretty. Not quite sure what to make of that one. So all in all we were quite impressed with the camera on the LG Renoir. So from that aspect, it is pretty good. Even though I haven't said that, the screen is a bit fiddly sometimes with the touchscreen when you're trying to take a picture, especially when you're using that touch shot feature. It can be a bit sticky, and sometimes if you take try to take a picture, it won't react quick enough for you to take that photo. But all in all, it's a pretty good 8 megapixel camera, and it's on par with the Innovate and also the C905. Uh, new technology is something else that LG are really proud of with this Renoir handset. And within this phone, you are going to get technology from Dolby and also DivX. So it's actually the first mobile phone on the market to have Dolby Entertainment on a mobile phone. What that means is the quality of the music is going to be much better, um, saved on there and also in your ear when you plug it in to listen to it. What LG seem to have overlooked is they haven't actually put a 3.5mm jack on there. You are going to get these headphones, which is specifically for this phone, in the box. But what LG have done is also given you an adapter, so you can actually plug your own headphones in there. And we actually use this adapter and also these headphones, and sound quality is pretty good. It's not as good as the Sony Walkmans out there, but when you plug your own per set of headphones in here, it is quite good. And we also asked the guys at Dolby, does this make any difference to the sound quality? And they said no, because of this amount of wire, it's not really going to make that much difference. So that's going to be Dolby. And also music on there, you are going to have to say of 8 gig on there with a micro SD card. Next up in this little Moby's bag of tricks is the partnership that LG have got with DivX. Now DivX means that you can watch, get video playback on here and also record video. And you can convert anything that you may have into DivX format and put it on here. And again, LG have given you a converter CD, so that will convert anything you've got on your computer into DivX for you to then put on this phone. Finally, with such a massive screen and also the touch screen, you'd expect this K901 to be a browser. Um, the screen is actually quite good for browsing, but it hasn't got multi-touch as I mentioned earlier, so zooming is quite difficult on there. It is HSDPA and also Wi-Fi compatible, so it is pretty speedy. But to be honest, it's not that great for browsing because it does take quite a long time and the screen is not that great. 
So we've had the K901 in Africa a couple of days and we have been fiddling about with it. And all in all, we are quite impressed with it. The camera is very good, the picture quality is very good, the media play with Dolby and the video play with DivX is actually fantastic and the first to have it on there. But again, why do these do it with touchscreen? The touchscreen lets the phone down completely. It's unresponsive and it is generally, it is actually really, really bad. Thank <laughs> you.